Guys, there's only one way that I will watch Bond movies. In particular, Casino Royale, Skyfall, even Spectre, GoldenEye. All of these movies are really meant to be experienced in a large projector. Something like 138 inch or 120 inch. Why? Because... There's something about silver screen projector that I don't care how advanced and expensive your 75 inch or your even your 88 inch TV is. I don't care how beautifully it looks uh, and how accurate the color accuracy is and all that jazz. Still, and I have these televisions. I have tried these television sets in the past. I've been doing this for eight years. Still, I prefer watching on a silver screen movies instead of on a television set. And I know Dolby Vision, 4K, um... DCI-P3, color accuracy, 100%, all that jazz, contrast ratio, I understand. Organic light uh, emitting diodes, OLED screen, I understand that. Yes, it looks beautiful. But there's something about silver screen. And this is what uh, Steven Spielberg was talking about. This is what uh, even Christopher Nolan was talking about, you know, the, watching movie on a silver screen on, on a big projector. It's the it's it's the only way, in my opinion, to uh, enjoy a movie. Uh, and I'm pretty sure everyone who is a a movie lover will tell you the same thing. I know my friend uh, Matthew Fritz will agree on this, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you will agree on this, that watching movies on a big projector uh, is the best way to go. And you also see a lot of detail uh, when you're watching movies on a, on a big civil screen or on a big uh, projector screen you see things that you normally didn't see you feel like you're part of that that experience that movie experience when I'm watching a movie on a television I yes I you know I'm still experiencing a movie but I don't feel like I'm connected or like I'm invested into the characters the way I'm invested into the characters and the story when I'm watching movie on a projector. It's just a whole different uh, experience, guys. Look at this Bahamas scene and how beautifully it looks. Now, of course, my camera cannot depict that. Uh, you have to see this in person, but I can assure you that this looks gorgeous. You know, I always find it hilarious uh, in Casino Royale that he was driving a rental car in Bahamas, Ford that he was driving a Ford instead of uh, Aston Martin I mean he did drive an Aston Martin but in this one scene uh, I, I, I didn't realize till now that he was driving a Ford in here, I'll, I'll show it to you in a second that this is a uh, Ford uh, rental car there it is right there there it is right there. <laughs> it is a Ford. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll come a little bit closer. There it is, Ford. I just find it kind of hilarious. Uh, I'll, I'll See, but these are the things that uh, you notice when you're watching this on a big screen. Um, the entire movie becomes a better experience. Not just this movie, any movie. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the same will go for the Dune, Black Widow, uh, Halloween Kills, all of those upcoming movies obviously will look better on a 
on a silver screen. So what's the whole point of this video? The whole point of this video is for me to tell you, for me to tell you that I understand that LG OLED C1, C10, uh, G10, uh, even the new Sony Bravia cognitive uh, chip processing, all of that will bring a beautiful, beautiful Dolby Vision HDR experience for the movie. You will get that clarity detail. However, still, I would recommend projector. Like, invest into a really good 4K projector. And maybe I can give you some recommendations down on the Amazon. Um, maybe I'll put some recommendations down on the Amazon uh, description on this video down below. Uh, I would still invest only if you are like a movie lover and who isn't a movie lover right everyone's a movie lover we all love movies um, and the best way to experience these movies it's on a projector any filmmaker will tell you that they're not watching it on their television believe me all these film directors they have a home theater they're watching it on a projector they're not gonna watch it on a television you know and for the love of God, do not watch movies on your phone <laughs> or your tablet. I mean, just look how beautiful this scene is. Again, my camera, obviously, it's having a difficult time depicting this, but trust me, man, uh, when you see this in person on a 138 inch 4K HDR uh, projector, and if you have a really good surround sound like Adobe Atmos, man, you, you are pretty much, you are set. Um, ask anybody, don't just take my advice on this. Ask anybody out there who loves movies, they will tell you, man, if you love movies, you got to get a pretty good projector. Invest the money into a projector and uh, you'll probably never go to a movie theater You'll probably never go to uh, cinema ever again, most likely, because you're going to watch all those movies at home, at the comfort of your own home, if you invest into a really good projector. And there's some pretty kick-ass 4K projectors out there now available. Some of them are hard to find because of the COVID-19, and some of them are super expensive because of COVID-19. You know, a lot of people are watching uh, movies at home. And so there, there's that problem and there's a lot of demand for uh, projectors. That could be an issue. I'm so glad that I purchased 15 projectors. I have a total of 15 projectors. I'm not kidding. I'm so glad that I accumulated all of these projectors. Um, so I'll never be in a shortage of a projector. <laughs> wow, look at this scene. So anyway, a short little video, I guess 10 minutes. I just wanted to briefly talk about this, touch on this. Because um, people have been asking me about, hey man, are you still watching projectors? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I be watching uh, movies on a projector? But here's another thing. I only use projector for movies. I don't use projectors for video games. I don't use projectors to watch TV shows uh, and programs like HBO, Showtime, Stars, NBC, Fox, right? I don't use uh, projector for my everyday television programming. I use television for that. That's why I have a television, right? This is why you have a TV. Everything has its purpose, guys, and the purpose of projector, it's movies, number one. That's the whole purpose of a projector, in my opinion. Television is for your everyday use. Video games, watching, you know, TV shows, movies, whatever. But if you want that movie experience, a very large 
uh, screen, projector, 4K HDR, it's the way to go. Now, the better the 4K projector, the better the experience is going to be, obviously. If you got a laser projector from Sony, oh yeah, that will cost you about $7,000. But guess what? You know, you're going to be high rolling, balling, big time. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Um, and um, let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on it? What can I say? Casino Royale is probably one of the best uh, James Bond movies. And right next to uh, Golden Eye, directed by Martin Campbell. I would say Martin Campbell created one of the most two iconic uh, James Bond movies of all time. Golden Eye and Casino Royale. Uh, no disrespect to Sean Connery and Dr. No and Golden Eye. I mean the... Uh, uh, no disrespect to Goldfinger. Goldfinger has a special heart, you know, in my place. Uh, but for, that's for that a, for that era, for the 60s and 70s. 80s had the Roger Moore. But for the 90s and 2000, I would say Goldeneye and Casino Royale, they own those two decades. 90s and 2000. 2000 belongs to Daniel Craig. 90s belong to uh, Pierce Brosnan and Martin Campbell, the most underrated director, uh, directed the two most iconic James Bond movies, GoldenEye and Casino Royale. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys liked this video. Comment down below and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Love you. Be good.